So I just want to let you guys know now that I butchered <laughs> the numbering for the beginning of these. So if you see me jump in and go, oh, this is actually numbers. <sighs> Sorry, I can't count. Okay, bye. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. It's Maddie, and it's almost the end of March. It's crazy. So I thought I would sit back and reflect on my past three months of 2020, makeup-wise. <laughs> Everything else, that would be a much longer video. No, makeup-wise, I wanted to take the top, well, not the top, but, so I wanted to take 10 products, and either the best or the worst of the month, and just kind of share them with you. So these are going to be my first quarterly favorites. So if you want to see how that goes, well, let's get started. So we're going to start from the bottom up and I'll explain. Um, so these are ranked, obviously I've tried more products than this in this time period and some things are included, some things aren't, and I'm sure I'm just straight up forgetting something. So that's alright, but we're going to start with number 10. The worst product I tried this quarter, that I remember, was the Ace Butte Vintage Dawn Palette. And I got this in a boxy charm, and these shadows just did not want to cooperate for anything. They were terrible. Like, that look was probably one of the worst makeup looks I've ever created. And um, the shadows just skipped and were patchy, and like, it just blending out, they just kind of muddied. It was just, see, like, it did the thing where it like it holds in one spot, it just patches up really bad. So this was a definite terrible palette for me, unfortunately. Number nine is a product I was extremely disappointed in. This is the Pretty Vulgar um, Undercover 60 Little White Lies concealer and it was horrible. Um, it creased immediately. <laughs> it was the wrong shade, which isn't their fault. It just I didn't like the formula, I didn't like the finish, and I was very bitter about the entire experience. It is not the last product because honestly that palette was horrible, uh, but either way, even if the palette wasn't in, I'd probably still put it a little bit higher because it's not the brand's fault um, that it was the wrong shade. That's BoxyCharm's fault. Um, but I didn't like the formula in and of itself, so number nine. Number nine. I messed up. This is actually number eight. We're officially in products that I didn't hate, but I liked them a lot, and then they've just kind of fallen out of use for me. So, this one is the Grande Drama Intense Thickening Mascara with Castor Oil, and when I first got it, I thought I was going to hate it, and then I really loved it in BoxyCharm. I was like, wow, this is the one redeeming thing of this box, and I really liked it, and I still think it's a good mascara. My issue with it is it takes like three to four coats to really build up to the point where you can actually see it. So um, I like it. I'll still reach for it, but it's not one that I found myself gravitating towards throughout the quarter. Okay, in number eight, this is actually number seven. We're at something I liked. I've used multiple times. And it's a good product. It's not my favorite product, but it's a good product. That is the Kylie X Stormy palette, and I was surprised because when I looked online, a lot of people like didn't have the good time with this palette that I had, so I was like a little bit confused, but I, ooh, I grabbed way too much of this one shade, sorry, so that looks a bit patchy, but I had a great time with this palette. I happened to swatch like one of the softest shades in it, but I had... A really good experience with this palette. I thought it was a great palette. Um, I've used it for a couple looks, but I do think the color story is limiting. It was intended to be, you know, it's meant to be like a purpley, pastel y butterfly palette. That's it, fills the job that it was intended to do. Um, so I thought it was a good palette. Next product is one I bought. What are we at? 1090. Number seven. This is actually number six is a product that I wasn't expecting to like as much as I did. Um, this is the Kybrow by Kylie Jenner, and I promise I wasn't expecting there to be multiple Kylie Jenner products in this one, and I think there's one more present, um, product, so. Sorry, this isn't sponsored, I just liked her stuff, and I bought a whole collection, so. Makes sense, <laughs> but. So this is her Dip Brow Pomade. Ooh, I just called it the Dip Brow. This is her Kybrow Pomade, and it's a really good dupe for the ABH one. 
It's what I'm wearing in my bras right now. It performs exactly the same as the ABH one, and it's cheaper and you get more product, so I like it. Product number six. This is actually number five. This was something I never thought I would ever need. I was in the school of thought that these were unnecessary, and I was proven wrong. This is the ABH eye primer. I have bought a couple more to try out, so I don't know if this specific product is the best out there. I've seen a couple people not like this one, but this was my first time actually using a designated eye primer, and it transformed my outlook. Um, so this was great. It ch completely changed my review on a palette, so number four is the Jackie Aina palette. This didn't come out this quarter, I know, but I got it this quarter. So it is a beautiful palette. Um, it's I've used it a lot since I got it, which I mean, it shouldn't surprise me, but, like, it did, which sounds bad. Um, so, this top color is one of my new favorite colors that I've ever had in a palette. It's this, it looks bronzy in the viewfinder, but it reads as green. It's beautiful, duochrome, and then this pink, brown. The whole palette is just gorgeous. Um, blends beautifully. It's not higher because you do have to use an eye primer with it. Figured that out the hard way. Um... So, yeah, it's a great palette. Number three, I hope you guys aren't surprised by this. It's my last Kylie Jenner product, I promise. It's the Kylie and Stormy blush in Flutter and Love. I love this blush. I've used this blush so much in like the month I've had it. It's such a gorgeous color. I'm not wearing it today, but I've been wearing it pretty much every day. It's just like this perfect soft pink, but with like a hint of purple in it. It's a great blush. Number three. Number two is also something that's not new, but it's new to me. It's the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. And this palette is possibly the best palette I've ever used in my entire life. It's gorgeous. All the shades blend beautifully with little to no effort from me. I was shocked when I got it. I was dumbfounded in my review. Like, I could not believe that shadows could be that pretty so effortlessly. It's probably one of the quickest makeup tutorials I've ever done or makeup reviews I've ever done on my channel because like they would I would put it on and it was like, oh it's blended. What? <laughs> blew my mind. My number two. So my number one is probably not the best item on this list but it shocked me and impressed me and blew my mind in a way that I had to acknowledge that and give it the number one spot. This is the Pretty Vulgar Faux Reels Mascara and I love it. I love this mascara. It is probably my favorite mascara to date. I think it's so good. I'm wearing it today and I just feel like it actually makes my lashes look long. Like you can see my lashes which is like new if you're if you're new here you normally can't see my lashes unless I'm wearing falsies. So this is fantastic. I'm mind blown and I will definitely continue to use this. I'll probably repurchase it. But I've been trying a lot of mascaras recently and to find one in a boxy charm that I love was shocking to say the least. Number one. And there you have it. That is my 10 quarterly favorites and not so much favorites. Um, this was a new video for me. I think it's something I definitely want to include. Um, if you like this video, I post new ones every single Monday, Wednesday, Friday at noon. I'd love to have you back for any of those. While you're here, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that little notification bell next to the subscribe button to be notified of all my future uploads. And if you liked this video, please let me know down below because it was new and different and fun. So I will see you all on the next one, okay? Bye!